ICT is a tool, it's not an end itself. And governments should be aware of the ICT relevance for development. This is the key issue to, for ICT to bring uh, its benefits for the people. And if governments do not invest, do not build infrastructure that can utilize ICTs, obviously these problems that you are focusing on they will persist. But we have good examples in Africa, countries like Rwanda, countries like South Africa, and uh, many other countries in Africa are doing well by implementing ICT projects, by, uh, for instance, uh, delivering telecenter communities for their citizens, for, um, I mean, building infrastructure. There are actually many ways of addressing um, problems in any society by the use of ICT. ICT is useful for health, education, agriculture, and every, every walks of life. Today, a lot of people use a mobile phone, even in rural zones, even in villages, even farmers and fishers. So uh, it's a way to connect them um, to to not only to capital but to connect them to development. African solutions for African problems. We have common problems and the very interesting thing related to that is nobody can provide us solutions. They don't even know our problems. How can we expect a solution from the developed world? They are developed but they don't know our problems. If they were to learn about this they would have to invest a lot of money which again will cost us a lot. My name is uh I'm Kamel Tishwiti. I'm uh, an engineer in. Uh, I'm from uh, an Algerian uh, space agency. This agency, National Information Technology Agency, as the name implies, is the main government, federal government agency in charge of IT, in charge of regulation uh, and uh, legislation and, and general driving of IT in the country. This is our LED, that's light, that's LED, which is for your switch light. And with, yeah. About this now, because it's a LED powered, you are going to be having low consumption of power. That means you are saving your power, you are saving energy. Uh, this is just about 60, 65 watts now, and you can cover up to the range of 50 meters with your with your pole of about eight meter, you have a wide area to cover. You can, co co you can power this through your hybrid of solar energy, and you know with little bank of a battery, you have uh, longer hours to sustain, to back it up. Now, yeah, now the ones that are on now, they are even for your rooms. Like this is two feet now, it's just about eight watts. You know, compared to the normal two feet, where you are looking at about 20 watts. You see, look at 8 watts, look at 20 watts. Now this one, we don't use talk on it, you don't use starter. So all this flickering you experience, you can experience flickering when it comes to this, because it's using LED. Again, you look at the power consumption. So in your area now where you are paying for power, you see that you will be paying less. The developed countries are going to India to develop software, to China, to the manufacture. This is because it makes economic sense. We are, as a lack of, due to lack of information, going to the most expensive places. In Africa, there's only four, four countries which have uh, satellite uh, systems, spatial satellite. There's South Africa, Kenya, Algeria, and uh, Nigeria. Yeah. But we have cooperation with other uh, countries. Uh, like uh, uh, countries of uh, Sal in uh, Locust Chagall, yeah, uh, Mali, Niger, yeah, Burkina Faso, like, that. and we have uh, we have another field uh, in Algeria. Uh, only in Algeria we have another field like uh, desertification, uh, uh, fluid assessment, uh, uh, management of forest fire, and things like this. You see, IT. To some people, it's about a laptop or a computer. But to me, ICT takes a broad plethora of 
telecom of technologies that can be used to disseminate and collect information. The radio, your handheld mobile computer, uh, hand handheld phone, all these things are facets that ICT can be used to drive through. So when you look at a mobile phone, you can use a mobile phone and tell a farmer or a fisherman what the weather is going to be like, what tides, how the tides are going to be, and even use satellite imagery to help him locate where the sort of fishes that he wants to catch are migrating towards. So rather than, than, than becoming a barrier, it will serve as something that will expand his own horizon. Uh, what we, uh, we have in mind, for example, is innovations like uh, hybrid mail, where uh, uh, not all members of, uh, say, a community or a village have uh, access to a letterbox or, or have access to an email address. What happens is that um, it is possible for somebody to write uh, an email to a local post office and that email can be downloaded into a box, uh, maybe a communal box, uh, which uh, the uh, subject or the addressee can access. So in that way, we can uh, see a very close relationship or uh, supplementary uh, supplementing of services between electronic and physical.